This is a triple IPA. Let's be honest, there's really no alcohol that's strong enough right now, but we're gonna try. Mm. This is a favorites video and you guys know I love a favorites video. I'm gonna get into my skincare. I'm gonna get into my makeup in just a second, but I do wanna take this moment to acknowledge how incredibly fucked up things are in our country right now. I'm upset, it actually <laughs> kinda took a lot for me to get it together and film today. I've just been really angry and I know a lot of you are with me on that and I just wanna let you know that this uh, channel, my Instagram, any of my social media platforms are safe spaces for standing up for women's reproductive rights. That's what I'm about. I also just want to say this is not a safe space for anyone who doesn't believe in that. So if your plan is to like leave some shitty comment in my comment section or debate or argue, we're not doing that. I'm not here for that. So you can just leave. I'm also going to try to list uh, organizations down in my description box and resources for uh, places you can donate to to support women's reproductive rights. That's really all I just wanted to say before we move on to uh, more frivolous things. I actually was away for quite a bit of time at my friend's lake house this month, which was so wonderful. So that's actually why the last couple weeks I haven't posted quite as much, but now I'm back. So we're gonna get back in the swing of things. I'm gonna start out with skincare and the brand that I'm starting out with is Youth to the People. Now I wanna tell you right now, they are having, actually no, I take it back. They're not having a sale. I just happen to have a 20% off code. I think it'll still work when this goes up. I don't know, try it out. It is called More Youth and it will get you 20% off site-wide. They are sending me their products, which is so wonderful. So thank you to Youth to the People. I'm just so impressed with the skincare across the board. This is a cleanser, which you know, I mean, I'm not really here to talk about a cleanser very much because boring. And most of them just like, don't blow me away. This is the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser cleanser and this is the perfect gentle cleanser. To me this is the perfect cleanse uh, before you go in and double cleanse. And I'm just referring to the Youth of the People website for some deets on this. It says it is a powerful but gentle daily face wash formulated with superfood antioxidants from kale, spinach, and green tea to give your skin the ultimate cleanse. It has kale, spinach, green tea, alfalfa, vitamin C and E, and it does prevent buildup in pores, which clearly that's one of the most important things with a cleanser. Their whole line is 100% vegan ingredients, premium superfood extracts, recyclable packaging, made in the USA, no animal testing, no parabens, no sulfates, all the things. You know, a lot of the time I'm not wearing makeup. So if I'm not wearing makeup, I'll just use this. It's fantastic, it never strips my skin. I just feel like I'm putting something really, really good on my face to cleanse it. And I do feel like I have of overdone it with like some cleansers and some exfoliating products in the last couple months so I am really gravitating toward things like this that are just super de duper gentle. Okay moving on to another Youth to the People product. I told you, I told you I fell in love with this brand. So this is the Triple Peptide and Cactus Oasis Serum and it says plump, firm, and hydrate amplified with 4D hyaluronic acid. This is a three-in-one hydrating, plumping, and firming serum, instantly revitalizing dry, dehydrated skin and plumps the look of fine lines and wrinkles with a moisture-multiplying matrix of peptides, hyaluronic acid, and super replenishing cactus stem. When I put it on, there's no tackiness. It just glides onto my face, which I love because, you know, I love to cocktail serums. I don't use just one serum generally. So I love when something goes on easily, absorbs easily, and that's what this is. And it's super de duper hydrating. The next product is a product that I very well may have spoken about in another favorites video, but honestly, I didn't even double check because I don't care. I'm talking about it again because it is that good. This is the Tatcha Indigo Overnight Repair Serum in Cream Treatment. This is literally the only thing I took with me when I went to the lake house both times. The only moisturizer, okay? That's how hydrating this is. You can see how I'm making my way through it, which it's a pretty spency product to make your way through it this fast, but you know what? 
again, I don't care. It's just, it's just magic in a jar. Again, it just so happens that Tatcha is having a 20% off sale. I think that when this video is up, the sale is still going on. I think it goes through Sunday or Monday. This I cannot recommend enough. And I know I've gone on and on about it, so I will spare you, but it has been the most healing product and has saved my skin so many times in the last couple months. This is a run, do not walk situation. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to makeup and I'm gonna talk about an oldie but a goodie. I haven't talked about a mascara in a hot second, I don't think, because I, I just have like the same favorites all the time. This is pretty much one of those. This was in my like desert island top 10 favorite makeup, makeup products, like the first video I ever did. I'm pretty sure this was in it. This is the Benefit Roller Lab. I, I kind of like set it aside. I always have a tube of this, but it kind of fell to the back of my mascara and I pulled it out one day because I just wanted a little bit more length and my god, I just forgot what a cure-all this is. Like no matter how great your lashes look or how not great they look with whatever like busted mascara you might have used, go in with this and I'm telling you right now, your lashes will look incredible. It has that like really, really great rubbery bristled wand that just grabs onto your lashes and gets in there and defines every single lash. This is the combination I'm wearing today. I'm wearing the Kierweiss uh, Uber Volume and then I didn't really need to go in with this, but it's like, why not? I went in with this and like got just even a little bit more length. So this is just, we need to have this on hand at all times. I do have the Pat McGrath blush duos and I've been meaning to get a video up about them, at least like a trying new makeup video, but I just haven't had enough new makeup to do that. So look out for that coming up. Obviously it's not gonna be like a video about the newest release at this point, but I do love the duos. I just wanna give them their due and I wanna show you how they actually look and play with them a little bit more. So those are not in the favorites, but just keep your eyes peeled. But what is, and my favorites are these Kosas Cream Cheek Duo blushes. These are insane. I cannot stop using them. I've now done like a tutorial about it. I did a live stream where I use this. And yes, I am indeed wearing this on my face today in the shade Velvet Melon, the high intensity. This is what it looks like. I mean, she's already getting like super used and abused because like I said, I cannot put this down. I saw this on uh, one of my friends, her name is Alex, and she's actually an influencer as well. She has a great podcast with my friend Tina called Obsessed with the Best, so I'll put that down below. But I saw her at a function and her cheeks were like, like angels were just like serenading her cheeks. They were just so gorgeous. They looked so plumped. I was like, what is on her cheeks? And she's like, oh, it's the Kosas Cream Cheek Duo in the shade Velvet Melon. Now, I, I don't know that she had the high intensity, but honestly, you just can't go wrong with any of these. I have three of these now. But I do think that this is my favorite shade, which really surprised me because it looks like very orangey in the pan, but it actually just looks like this beautiful, healthy sunburnt glow, which is what I did my recent tutorial about. I, I can't say enough about these. I really haven't heard a lot of people talk about them. Am I just living under a rock? Maybe they did and I missed it. So again, that's Velvet Melon in the high intensity and this is called Eighth Muse. So this one right here is the regular Eighth Muse and this one right here is the high intensity. So you can see it's just like the high intensities are just a tiny bit amped up. I will tell you this highlighter in the Eighth Muse high intensity is bananas. Look at that. Is that not just absolutely breathtaking? I had some people ask like, how does this set down? Is it tacky? Does it dry down? Um, it's all in how you apply it. You know what I mean? I, I do not like to powder this because I love that like beautiful dewy situation. When I powder it, it does set down and it does mattify depending on how much powder you use, which is really what I find with most cream blushes. So if you wanted to go that route, just set it with powder. Or if you don't, do what I did and just like powder the areas you wanna powder and keep this like very, very dewy. I love that. Even feeling my cheek right now, while it looks extremely dewy, it does not feel that way. It does not feel sticky. It does not feel tacky in the least. Okay, so next I'm gonna move on to what I have on my lips right now. And 
This was something I actually totally forgot that I was sent by Shantikai and I picked it up. I actually took this with me to the lake house just if I wanted like a balmy situation with a little bit of tint. This is Gyargis. This is a lip chic in the shade Jasmine. It's this beautiful like neutral peachy shade. I do have a little bit of a gloss over it, um, but I just want to swatch it for you so you can see. Oh God, these lip veils and lip, lip chics from Shantikai are, I mean, what, get out of here. Get out of town. So, so shiny. This is actually a part of their, I wanna say giraffe collection, which I believe is still available. And again, everything I'm talking about today is gonna be linked down below in the description box for easy shopping. Okay, moving on to other lip products though that I am going to put on my lips and show you because I feel that strongly about them. These are the MAC Glow Play Lip Balms. These can have their way with me. They're, I mean, these are very similar formulas. This is probably a little bit more pigmented, the Chantecai. Um, This is just so sheer. This is like the perfect sheer summer popsicle lip. I'll show you, hold on. So this is in the shade Rouge Awakening, which pretty much matches my top right now. And I did use this in my recent tutorial, but I'm gonna use it for you again so you can see. Mm. 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 Angry. And this shade right here, for something a little different, is called Grapely Admired. And it's this beautiful berry, sheer berry shade. Mm. Like, that's beautiful too. Like, what? I don't even, I don't even know how to decide. I couldn't even tell you. I feel like every damn, I mean, I'm not mad about it, but I feel like everyone's having a sale right now. I feel like I'm just like, here's a sale, there's a sale, there's a sale, sale, sale. But it just so happens like a lot of things I love are on sale. So sorry, not sorry. As of right now, or last time I checked Mac, I believe they're always having sales on the website. I think they're having like a 25% off site-wide sale. So I'm actually gonna go back to the Chantecai lip shade so you can really see what it looks like by itself without any gloss or anything like that. This just hugs your lips. It literally feels like it doesn't wanna leave my lips. This is just a my lips a better shade. It's just so flattering. It's so natural. It's so cushiony. All right, I've said enough about these lipsticks. But my God, I can't get enough. Okay, this is dumb. I definitely should have put the SPF at the beginning of the video with the skincare, but whatever. Okay, so hear me out. At the age of 39, it has taken me this long to finally get right with myself and be like, even if I'm not going to the beach, even if it's not like the sunniest day out, I still need to be wearing SPF. I do live in the shadows. I do live as an active vampire. So I oftentimes feel like I'm pretty okay, but don't come for me. I know, I, I know, oh my God, I still need to be wearing SPF. I can't have the SPF mob coming for me, okay? I've got too many other things on my hands. It's kind of, interesting that these are two totally different SPF products and totally different brands and they look very very similar in their color scheme. First this is like my ride or die. This is the Glossier Invisible Shield and I still love this. I think this is like my third my second or third bottle of this and this is Broad Spectrum 35 so I wish it was a higher SPF. 35 is not too bad um, but I do love this because it really is invisible. It, it, it goes on so light. There's barely any scent to it. You don't feel like you put a sunscreen on your face. You just feel like you put something like, like a light moisturizer on or a primer and makeup goes over it beautifully. So this I really love. And I would say this is actually my favorite to wear with makeup. I mean, also you cannot wear this with makeup, but that's just like an added bonus. This is the other sunscreen I've been using. This is a little bit more intense. This is what I'll put on if I'm like going out on a really sunny day or if I'm going to the pool or whatever. This is the Super Goop Every Single Face Watery Lotion. This is SPF 50, which is what I love most about it. This is a very, very nice light sunscreen option. I have worn this under makeup. They say it's not meant necessarily to be used primarily as a primer, but I still do. I still put it on underneath makeup and it looks beautiful. This is very, very dewy. It's a very dewy situation. Um, so I feel like I can't really do a lot of other skincare like on top of this. It's pretty much just this and then put on makeup. With something like the Glossier Invisible Shield, I feel like I can kind of 
maybe do a little bit more of my skincare because it's just so light. Either way, these are really great options. If you aren't wearing, you know, SPF on a regular basis, you probably should be. So maybe think about, you know, folding something like this into your routine. Okay guys, so those are my favorites from the month of June. Pretty simple, pretty easy breezy. I'm admittedly not doing a lot of makeup purchasing, a lot of skincare purchasing because I am, I think I'm good. I'm like up to here with all that stuff. As I said before, everything is gonna be linked down below in the description box. And those links are affiliate links. And that just means that they give me a small commission if you decide to shop through the link. Also, don't forget about those sales. I'm gonna link all of that down below with any codes, all that good stuff. I so appreciate you guys. I continue to be blessed with like what I think is one of the best communities on YouTube. We're small but mighty and I'm into it. You guys are the best. Please stay safe out there and cheers till next time. Bye. Mm.